Figuring out how to go ahead and reach cold audience and reach people that never heard of you or your brand before, it's hard. Like, you don't know where to start. You can't seem to crack and convert cold audience and you don't know who to target, how to create this evergreen funnel. We're constantly always reaching new, highly qualified cold audience and get them into your funnel. And that's exactly why I created this video. Let's start by announcing last week's winners for thousand dollars worth of courses or consultant course with me. The winners here. If you guys want to qualify or the you comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, let's get right into today's video. Facebook cold audience outreach strategy. So how to go ahead and reach qualified new users. That's sort of what something that everyone struggles with. So what you want to start is creating these assets. You want to create a custom audience for your customers as well as using that custom audience. Go ahead and create a 1% lookalike audience off those customers targeting US, UK, Canada and Australia. And then these customers could be purchasers, email lists, people who've opted in, people who've added cart, just sort of create audience list that's over a thousand audience. Then you want to go ahead and create the campaign. So what you're going to do for this cold audience outreach campaign is you're going to create a PPE campaign. It's going to be a CBO campaign at $50 per day. Then on the ad set level, you want to go ahead and target that 1% lookalike audience that you created earlier, put in location, US, UK, Canada, Australia, age, you know, basis on your customer list, basically who your ideal customer is, what the age range is and narrowing down the age is very important for PPE campaigns because then Facebook will be spending and wasting a lot of your money on like people who are 18 years old. And then for interest, you want to actually stack a bunch of relevant interest to your customer. You want to keep adding audiences until that audience size is over 1 million. So when you're adding that 1% lookalike audience of customers, your audience size will probably be around 2.4 million. And as you flex it with these interests, it will jump all the way back down to like 300,000. You'll have to keep stacking it up, put in a bunch of relevant interest to go ahead and make that audience over 1 million. And don't worry, I'll be showing you guys through this whole process step by step with my own personal brand soon. And placement, you just want to do automatic placement and do only Instagram and Facebook and have everything checked. And then on the ads level, this will be sort of your first touch point. This is the ad that people who have no idea who you are and they have never heard of you, this will be the first ad they'll see from you. So it definitely needs to be pretty powerful and engaging. If you already had, a bunch of you know organic creatives, previous ads, creatives on other platforms, you can go ahead and pick the best performing creatives based on your previous tests. If not, you can create a brand new ad that represents your brand. And then collating up to five creatives would be ideal. And then this is sort of where the magic happens. When you go ahead and create this evergreen cold traffic outreach ad, you wanna exclude everyone who viewed at least 10 seconds of any of these five videos or do 25% of your video if the creatives you pick are under 40 seconds so that once people see the ads once, they're gonna be put into a warm traffic funnel and they're not gonna be seeing that cold traffic ad again and again. Two, you wanna exclude anyone who's engaged with your page in the past 90 days. And this will allow you to just see new people that haven't seen your page before. Three, exclude anyone who's engaged with your Instagram over the past 90 days. Again, I only wanna reach people who have not seen me on Facebook or Instagram. And four, lastly, you want to exclude all website visitors in the past 180 days. Like I only want qualified users that haven't visited to my website. I want brand new people. And that's sort of how you blow up your brand using cold outreach ads like this. So now I'm going to go ahead and take you guys through the whole process. All right, so let's go ahead and create that campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and create 028, just because this is my 28th campaign. Andy, my cold outreach PPE campaign. I'm going to go ahead and do post engagement 001, 001. Save to draft. All right, so now I'm going to go into the ad set. First, we start the campaign level. We're going to turn on camp CBO. We're going to set the daily budget to $50. Go to the ad set level. I'm going to go to my audience tab. Here's all andymine.org visitors in the past 180 days have 1,400 people. I'm going to go ahead and create a lookalike audience off this. So select it, actions, create lookalike. I'm going to go ahead and put in United States, Canada, 
United States, United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand, the top five. I'm gonna go ahead and just create a 1% lookalike audience and create. Now I'm gonna go back to the ad set and I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And here it is, the first one. That will give me an audience size of roughly 3.3 million. So I'm gonna actually have to wait for that lookalike audience to populate, but I'll do the rest now. Put in United States, Canada, United Kingdom, New Zealand, Now for my age, the ideal sort of customer I want, they're most likely over the age of 21 at least. You know, they're 22, no 21. They've sort of graduated from uni, genders or language, anything detailed targeting. This is sort of where you wanna go ahead and stack it with similar interests. So right now, after my audience populates, it should say potential reach would be 3.3 million. And then I want to go ahead and stack it with relevant sort of interest. So let's say dropshipping. Putting in dropshipping, that might bump it down all the way down to like 300,000. Then I'll go ahead and add in more interest, such as say Ty Lopez. And that'll go ahead and bump it up to 500,000. So you're going to keep adding more and more relevant interest using the suggestions tab to go ahead and make a potential reach over like 1 million. Then you want to go ahead and edit placements. You want to take out in article, apps and sites, in stream is good, stories is good, and feeds is good. Post engagement, and yeah, that's the ad set level. Now let's get to the ad, and I'll pick my Facebook page. So you could go ahead and either create a new ad or use an existing ad that performed really well. All right, so here is an ad set with all the ads from one of my personal brand campaigns. As you can see, I have like 35 ads. I sort of by most results and it looks like this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one performs very, very well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it. This existing campaign. I'm gonna select the cold outreach PPE campaign. Ad set put under 001 and I'm gonna duplicate. You'll go ahead and see that the ad was successfully copied over. So let's go ahead and delete this draft. And this will be the first ad. Add one. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this four more times. And then we're going to name, move in edit. two, three, four, and add five. Save the draft. Go back to my previous campaign. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this one that has four purchases. Existing campaign. Called out switch. So I need to refresh it because right now it doesn't show those new campaigns, those new ads that I just set up. So let's refresh this. Duplicate, existing campaign, put it in add two, and duplicate, continue. Now I'm going to repeat that process with these other good performing ads. Perfect, so now we're gonna, as you can see in ads two to five, they all have these sort of ads that I just duplicated into them. I accidentally duplicated the ad number one four times, so I'm gonna delete that. Let's see what this setup error is. I'm just do learn more. And then now this is sort of where the magic happens, where the exclusion I was talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and edit all these ad sets. I'm gonna go ahead and exclude. So first I'm gonna exclude people who've engaged with my Instagram. Then I'm gonna exclude all visitors to my website. Anyone who's visited my website. I'm 
then I'm going to go ahead and create a custom audience with anyone who's engaged with my page. So let's go ahead and select Facebook page, anyone who's engaged with Andy Mai, anyone who's engaged with my page in the past 90 days, everyone who engaged with Andy Mai page past 90 days. And now I'm going to go ahead and create a custom audience of everyone that's watched 10 seconds of any of those ads I just selected. So create custom audience, videos, I'm going to do 10 seconds, I'm going to choose the videos I just did. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this to have those videos bump up to the top. Here's a testimonial video, so these two, if they've watched 10 seconds of these two, in the past 365 days, watch 10 seconds of cold traffic outreach ad. Now I'm going to go back to that. Now we go ahead and exclude page. People who've engaged with our Facebook page in the past nine days, as well as the cold outreach. Anyone who's watched 10 seconds of any of our cold video ads. So if they've watched this ad, then I'm going to be showing this ad again. And yeah, that's the whole setup I showed you guys from A to Z. You just set this running forever. Like the campaign that I just showed you guys, I can literally set this forever and let qualified cold traffic get funneled in into my retying ad, which is crazy. I have a whole retying funnel, which I might reveal in a future video, so watch out for that. But yeah, that's a whole cold outreach strategy from A to Z. Show you guys the PowerPoint. If you guys want the PowerPoint, the slides are completely for free in the description below. Be sure to get that. I want to give you guys as much value as possible. On top of that, I went ahead and went into my ad account to go ahead and show you guys the whole process completely for free. So yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this free guide that I just released. Question of the day, what is your cold outreach strategy? Drop in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and effort. Other than that, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with much more value. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video. That's all I ask. I don't sell you guys anything, so please do that. But yeah, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with more value. Have an amazing day. Peace.